The rising sophomore, Chloe Ketz, is coming back to summer practices with South Carolina women's basketball as a gold medalist. Ketz spent the past two weeks in Madrid, Spain, competing for Team USA at the FIBA U19 World Cup. She helped USA Basketball bring home gold in the FIBA U-19 World Cup with a 69-66 win over host Spain on Sunday in Madrid. Kitts narrowly missed out on a double-double in the final, pouring in 15 points and grabbing 9 rebounds in the gold medal game. Kitts posted four double-digit scoring games in the seven games of the tournament, including a double-double against Germany in group play. Her 8.0 rebounds per game were 10th best in the tournament, while she averaged 10.7 points per game on 57.1% shooting. It was a significant improvement from Kit's last outing with Team USA in the 2022 FIBA U18 Women's Americas Championship, where she averaged 7.7 points and 5.8 rebounds. Before the World Cup, it had been several months since Kit's father Jason watched his daughter play a full game of basketball. She originally signed in South Carolina's 2023 recruiting class but skipped her final high school season to enroll a semester early. She averaged 6.8 minutes appearing in 18 games for the Gamecocks in 2022-23. Kit's newfound success on the international stage showed Jason just how much that brief season at South Carolina helped her development. Jason said the biggest change he saw in Kitts physically was her strength, and he credited Gamecock sports performance coach Molly Bonetti with helping her add approximately 15 pounds of muscle mass since she joined the team in late December. It wasn't an easy freshman season for Kitts, who had to adjust to college basketball in the middle of the season on one of the most talented rosters the sport had seen in years. Jason said the gold medal was uniquely meaningful for Kitts because it was a sign of all the challenges paying off. Chloe Ketz, the first South Carolina women's basketball midget registrar in the Dawn Staley era, wouldn't change a thing about her freshman season. Ketz is positioned for a fascinating fall. Among the seven returning Gamecock scholarship players, no one else has played fewer games or scored fewer points. But no one else in the recruiting class suited up for South Carolina just weeks into the program and had 10 points and 7 rebounds in his college debut. Unpredictable and unique as it was, Kitts said that journey primed her and confidently to take on any and all roles to retool the Gamecocks as smarter, more established sophomore. Kitts ended up playing in 18 of South Carolina's 37 games in 2022-23 as the team swept to the Southeastern Conference regular season and tournament titles and in a bid for a repeat national championship, went undefeated until a final four loss to Iowa. That followed a whirlwind fall in which she committed to South Carolina on November 4, signed her letter of intent on November 9 and made her South Carolina debut on December 18 against Charleston Southern once she and the program got clarification she was immediately eligible to play. She spent most of year one with South Carolina on the bench. That's not all that surprising, given USC's loaded roster that ultimately resulted in the school's record 5 WNBA draft pick, Alia Boston, Letitia Amy here, Zia Cook, Brea Beal, and Victoria Saxton. After scoring 10 points in 23 minutes against Charleston Southern and playing 16 minutes against Coastal Carolina the next game, Kitts only played 10 plus minutes in three of her final 14 games and 11 total postseason minutes. And when she did play, she rarely shot, preferring to move the ball and defer to the other players on the South Carolina bench unit notably senior and fan favorite Olivia Thompson. After scoring 10 points on 9 shooting in her debut, Kitts racked up 19 points the rest of the season. Kitts played multiple positions in high school but says she anticipates playing perimeter in 2023-24 for the Gamecocks. She will definitely have a chance to make an impact especially as a three-point shooter, who Staley regularly touts as one of Kit's best qualities with seven scholarship players moving off last year's roster.